So my summer job ends this week. And that means I have 19 days left until I move to New York City. Still gotta buy my bus ticket. But this is my hometown. I still love this place. And there's three things I need to do before I leave. Number one, to say goodbye to everyone. I haven't started that quite yet. Two, to finish my secret projects at work. More on that later. Three, to give the city a gift. That's the topic of this video. I like to call myself a designer. I've been doing graphic design and digital art since I was a preteen, using two free programs that I still use to this very day. But if you don't live in one, there's one key thing you should know about all small cities. They're lacking in design. Most cities in the country have flags, seals, mottos, but they're usually not that good. Some large cities do it great. Chicago, for example, they have a city flag and the design is so simple and revered that it's used everywhere. DC is another great example. However, most city and even a lot of state flags are not like Chicago's. Rather than being simple and well-designed, they're usually either really ugly and messy or they're what's called seals on a bedsheet. Yuck. And sadly, Amira is one of them. The idea is simple. To give the people in there an alternative. Great brand identity in cities isn't just slapping a new logo on a website or raising a new flag. It's creating something the people of the city can identify with and rally under and shape the identity of the city. So here's my proposal. I'll start with the flag. Elmira is known for the colors purple and gold, partly because of the college in the middle of our city, but also because of the prevalence of the purple and golden wildflowers all over town. I know I, at least, heavily identify the city with the color purple, so we'll start with that. We have the Shemung River running right through our city, splitting us in half, the symbol in the middle of our flag, two golden rings interlocked, not only uniting the east and west side, but crossing the river uniting the north and south side as well. We are the people of Elmira, and despite our differences, we have each other's back. And if you needed even more symbolism, the rings cross the river at four points, much like the four car bridges in Elmira. We have two more bridges, but one's a railroad, and the other one's been shut down for years and is going to be turned into a walking bridge soon. But that's not all. These golden rings could be a symbol for the city and the people within. It could be turned into the city's new logo, used on their website, on city projects, maybe like that new walking bridge that's being built, and even as a symbol for local business owners to put a sticker in their window, handed out by the city. The colors are remixable and mashable, and the design could be put on shirts, hats, and other merch to generate income for the city, and allow the people to, for once, show Elmira pride. I think it's a good idea. I need them to think so too. If you're an Elmira native and want to see the city not only get a facelift, but an actual identity to rally under, why not share this video? Maybe we can get some city officials to see this, and maybe, just maybe, we'll actually get this to happen for the city. And hey, if you're not from here, you can share it too. I won't mind. Hope you have a good one.